What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmore Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Kalo the nav points for both Eladin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. Hey, Jal? <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Whatever gets you through. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts. For everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? For Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure yet. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothjin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or... I don't feel like I am. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. Thought you should know I keep finding crumbs here on the counter. Forget it, Drac. It's still your turn to clean the galley. I think something's nibbling our stores. Something that doesn't belong. Possibly something tasty. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for stowaways. We can talk more later. Sure. Better not go running off on Kadara. Might end up in another cage. Or someone's stew. These things make for a good snack. Or target practice. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. Cereal crumbs. Lots of them. Something's nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it.
One trap ready for a visitor. I'll leave it and see what we get. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours. So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship? This might not be pretty. Are you... Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do. Everything all right? Oh, yes. PB and I were just... having a debate. You mean argument? No, that would be unprofessional. If you say so. Ryder, do you think I'm uptight? I... No, never mind. Don't answer that. Let's just talk about something else. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Tev Uni. A home on Vold. Sort of. Still feels good, though. Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Base, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. We'll talk later. I know it.
Hello, Scott. Could our report has raised questions for the future? What questions? If we succeed in Andromeda, more AI will be created. We are all individuals. Some may commit illegal acts. But if AI are also citizens, there must be laws and penalties for us too. I wonder what form they will take. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Kadara Port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. Of all the ideas so far, it's the one most likely to blow up in our face. Well, thanks for the inspiration. Any other bubbles you want to burst? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Prepping VidCon communications. Ryder, how's my favorite Pathfinder? Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer. Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? Sloan doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. Hold up. This is a private event. Name's Ryder. Human Pathfinder? I'm kind of a big deal. There's no Ryder on the list. He's with me. Reyes Vidal. Go on in. Reyes Vidal. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Pathfinder? Meet Kima Dorgan. The Angaran representative to Sloan and uh, a friend. I didn't think Reyes had friends. Only contacts and colleagues. Oh, I'm those as well. Who do you think secured him an invitation to this event? Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of something. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle, make a good impression. You're gonna be playing catch up on all the fun. I work best one step behind. Promise. And there he goes. Any idea what he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. Enjoy the party. Beer, Kytus. It'll be good for your health. I don't drink on the job. So clock out. Live a little. Just keep a low profile. Sloan's already gonna give me hell. Good to see you again, Pathfinder. How did you meet Reyes? The only way anyone meets Reyes Vidal. Through business. His skills are very valuable in Kadar Report. What's it mean to be an Angaran representative to Sloan? Sloan relies on me to provide an Angaran perspective. Does she listen to you? Only in extreme cases. She makes a show of being pro-Angaran, but her priority is the outcasts. She throws these parties to mollify my people. It won't work forever. Are you part of the Resistance? No. Ephra and I share information, but Kadara's problems come first. If war breaks out between the Collective and the Outcasts, it will be my people who suffer. I hope these pirates haven't given you a bad view of my people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I judge individuals, not groups. You, for example, I like. Not sure about who you work for, but I've learned to keep my options open. 
You never know who might end up in charge. Exactly. Have you seen Reyes? No, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. Nice talking to you, Kima. Likewise, Pathfinder. Rough night? Said something I shouldn't have. To a woman. Nola. She's in Garin. Been planning tonight for weeks. Filed my talons. Buffed my fringe. Only to screw up not two seconds after walking through the door. Whatever you did, I'm sure you can fix it. You don't know what I said. Nola has a sister. I may have compared the two of them. I thought if I made Nola jealous... Okay, that's bad. Really bad. But I still think you can recover. Explain that you only said what you did because you're an idiot. And you like her. You think that'll work? Better than wallowing in self-pity. All right. Wish me luck. I'd like a drink. What's the name of my bar? What? You want a drink, answer the question. Crawler's Song. Hmm. Back again. Hope you're ready for round two. How do I serve whiskey? Why are we playing 20 questions? Because I'm bored and you're thirsty? Neat. I'm almost impressed. Final question. Want to be a test subject? I've got a new drink. Angar and wine mixed with Rincol. Need to know if it's safe for humans. You in? Hit me with your best shot. You're the worst. You know that, right? Bottoms up. Still standing. Success. Pathfinder, might I suggest you slowing down? At least until Mr. Vidal returns. Shut up, Sam. It's a party. I see that Kytus needs to vet the guest list more thoroughly. Relax, your majesty. A friend invited me. I'm only here for the drinks. You can freeload like everyone else. Don't cause trouble. Pathfinder's honor. Just go. Reyes, where are you? No answer, but I believe he headed to one of the side rooms when we arrived, Pathfinder. Let's see what he's up to. Damn it! Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Take the night off. Come out for a drink. 
Should have known you were up to something. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you didn't use me as a distraction to go through Sloane's stuff? <laughs> okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. I You've promise. been making a lot of promises. Shit, someone's coming. We need a distraction. Sorry. <coughs> My friend had a bit too much to drink. Hey, it worked. Next time, I come up with the plan. Finally, here it is. That's what this was all about? Whiskey? The only bottle of Mount Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and 645 years old. This isn't whiskey. It's treasure. I hope you're planning on sharing. Ha. <laughs> we'll see. Let's get out of here. Gorgeous, isn't it? I sometimes forget. Is Andromeda everything you hoped it would be? Every day is an adventure. Even my nights off are interesting. What about you? Why did you come here, Reyes? To be someone. That sounded surprisingly genuine, coming from you. I'm always genuine, Ryder. In my own way. Sorry, how many? Eight brothers and sisters. Almost four times as many cousins. My mother's. A lot of voices with opinions on what to do, or to be. No kidding. How do you handle that? Honestly, not well. This must be the hideout of those hackers who attacked Sam. Everyone remember, these people think their virus worked. Sam's gone, and I'm on their side. Clever indeed. Private channel only once we're in, Sam. Welcome to our sanctuary. I'm Catherine Nye, knight to my colleagues. I wrote the virus that freed you from Sam. I don't know how to thank you. I'm sorry your father did this. The initiative's use of AI could doom us all, and you were the first to suffer. Did your virus kill Sam? Sam has been reduced. It's harmless now. I saw the folly of merging humans and AI in the Milky Way, a black ops project called Overlord that created a monster. Many died, my son was hurt, and the young man used as a host was consumed. Every Pathfinder risks the same fate. That can happen? I've never heard of Overlord. I guess your father hadn't either. Excuse me, I have work to do, unless you have questions. What more can you tell me about Project Overlord? A black ops experiment by mad scientists to merge a human mind with synthetic intelligence. Their creation was a horror. I paid a heavy price to get my son out. You think the Pathfinders could be overcome by their AI? Worse. If the initiative thinks the human AI merge works, they might roll it out to everyone. Imagine Sam's power in the hands of people who weren't ready for it. If you're afraid of AI, why join an organization that uses it? We needed an escape. I thought the initiative was using shackled AI for research. When I understood... Uh, well, a firefighter doesn't run away from a fire. I shouldn't keep you. Thank you. Don't worry about Sam reconnecting. Our AI detector is always watching. That's... good to know. The virus was a beginning. I'm about to make sure the initiative never repeats its mistake. Pathfinder. Oh, 
It's unlikely an AI detector could discern our private channel. However, this may not be true for your scanner. So Knight has big plans. Can't be good. She's dangerous. Let's find out what's up. Discreetly. Oh, welcome. I'm Laveria. I'm so glad Knight's virus worked. Do you need anything? Why did you join Knight's movement? <laughs> I know. Me, an underground hacker? Back home, I was a concierge on the Citadel. I coded games for my little sisters. They played together, walked to school together. And when those Geth machines attacked the Citadel, the Geth impaled them on spikes. Together. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That's why I left for Andromeda, and why I joined Knight. It sounds like Knight is taking all this to the next level. Oh yes, very soon now. Has she told you anything? Not much. Alain, her son, would know more. See you later, Laveria. Bye. Come by any time. <sighs> this must be tough to hear, Sam. Those AI are the product of a different civilization. Ours will be founded on organic synthetic partnership. I bridge the hard earned lessons of the past and the promise of the future. Looks like Knight's personal console. Sam, can you get into it? Yes, but my access will trigger the AI detector. You'll only have one chance. Okay, let's wait until we know what we're looking for. We need to be certain what to look for first. You must be Ryder, Alain. My mother's in charge around here. But you're a celebrity. Sorry I can't show you around. I'm stuck sitting here for a few more hours. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Just good old Project Overlord. Still kicking me when I'm down. When Mom has... Nope. Can't talk about that. Do you need anything? Anything you can tell me about Project Overlord? Black Ops guys trying to make a VI human hybrid. They hired my mother as a programmer. They told me I was a candidate for the human part. And, hey, not like my body was doing me any favors. But my implants got hacked, and Mum said we're leaving. Lucky me. Overlord went downhill fast. If it's all right, can I ask you why you need all these machines? I had a serious infection in my nervous system. I used spinal implants to walk and, you know, bathroom stuff. But while my mother was working on Project Overlord, my implants got hacked. They still work. I just have to sink them a few hours a day. 
Your mother seems to have plans. Mum's always got plans. A big one's coming up. Nothing else you can tell me? I would. But you just arrived. I learned the hard way. Trust has to be earned. I've got to go. You know where I'll be. Pathfinder, I believe we can fix Alain's implants. I have schematics for an appropriate device. It will require time and resources. Or I could start scanning, but that's risky. Scoot over, Jal. You're taking up my seat. Too hot in here for that. Do you mean hot or hot? <sighs> Just shove over. Ella, I put a little something together. This should help fix your implants. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel my nerves waking up. When Mercury goes down, Mum will lose her mind over this. Thank you. No problem, Ella. I've got to go. Thank you again. Mercury. Sounds like a code name for whatever Knight's doing. This will enable me to find any relevant data quickly. Let's search Knight's console and see what she's up to. Security protocols breached. Bring up anything tagged Mercury. Files found. Mercury. A strike to prevent any future AI by destroying all quantum computers on the Nexus. Damn it. You could use those computers to create AI, but right now they run half the station. A lot of people could die. We need to stop Knight. Now. But quietly. Okay? Incoming call from Sloan. Sloan? Really? I need to speak to you. Come alone. What is this? She hung up, Pathfinder. Lovely. Better see what she wants. Where is everybody? I told them to get out of my sight. Take it someone pissed you off? The charlatan used my own people to beat up Kytus. He's alive, barely. I know you and Kytus are close. I... You don't know shit. I didn't call you here for a pity party. Why did you call me? I'm not exactly your favorite person. The charlatan left a note on Kytus' body. He wants to settle things between us. Meeting spot is in Drowlea. Could be a trap. You think? I can't trust my own people, but you... You're an outsider. And honorable. The charlatans had plenty of time to act. Why make a move now? I ignored the Collective for too long. Thought they were just another ragtag group of upstarts. Now they're bold and dangerous. What happened to Kytus is on me. I've got to end this before it gets worse. Are you with me? I'll watch your back. Kadara's fate will be decided at this meeting. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but... Hey, shit happens, right? Meet me at this location. I'll go on ahead. The Angara always seem to be hugging someone or punching them. Do you get sick a lot? Maybe. <clears throat> Illness is a private matter. We never speak of it. Really? No sick days? No starve a fever, nurse a cold? <clears throat> it's suddenly very hot in here. Want some Medi-Gel? <laughs> Please, stop. Remote. Not a good sign. Took your sweet time. Come on, let's get this over with. I'm with you. You look like you're waiting for someone. Reyes? I'm here for the charlatan, not some third-rate smuggler. They're one and the same. Surprise. This whole time you've been lying to me. Not the whole time. 
You said you wanted to settle things. How? <clears throat> A duel. You and me, right now. Winner takes Kadara port. You want to avoid war by shooting each other? Two people shooting each other is better than a lot of people shooting each other. I'll take those terms. Sniper, his sights are set on slow. Sniper! Damn it! Cover me! Shoot him! What the hell was that? He was unarmed. He's got nowhere to hide. My people will find him, then his head goes on a spike. No. No more heads on spikes, no more public executions. Not even out of the fucking cave, and you're making demands. You're alive because of me. It's time you start playing nice. I'll never trust Tan or the initiative. But you're out of the doghouse. You were right, Ryder. Now that the political conflict is resolved, Gadara Port is growing on me. Growing like the searing pain of an infected flesh wound. I've been keeping this to myself, but I feel the need to be honest. I hate it here. You complain every time we dock here. Why don't you wait on the ship? I'm afraid of missing out. Pathfinder. Come to collect on the debt I owe you. Maybe I came to check on Kytus. Ever think of that? I... Uh, he's fine. Recovering. Glad to hear it. You're a real pain in the ass. you know that? I've heard that before. <sighs> but you did save my life. I know the Nexus needs outposts. Kadara's in better shape than most planets. This is the right call, Sloan. We don't have the numbers to keep fighting each other. We need to work together. I'll work with you, but not with Tan. The Nexus exiled us to die. I've neither forgiven nor forgotten that. Both parties have a right to be angry, but this outpost is our chance for a better future. Together. Your diplomatic bullshit won't work on me. I get a cut of whatever your settlers produce. Think of it as a protection fee. Plenty of collectors still running around. Wouldn't want them to get ideas. That almost sounds like extortion. Do we have a deal? Are you going to be nice to me now? Don't push your luck, Scott. Yeah? Have your people tracked down Reyes? Not yet. Bastard's playing hide-and-seek, but we'll get him. Once Kytus has recovered, he'll lead the search, personally. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Hey, Ryder. Since you made nice with the powers that be here, I'm fielding a lot less animosity from the average outlaw. How much animosity are you dishing out? Oh, no me. If I don't get into scrapes here and there, I get antsy. Don't worry, I'm laying low. No making enemies. What's on your mind? So Reyes was the charlatan. I don't like anyone I can't trust, but he seemed to be doing some good. Kind of a shame. Don't have too much fun. It's early. So, is everything supposed to change with Sloan unchallenged? Stability was the goal. And allies. Well, I have a bar full of allies. As long as I'm buying. Sounds like diplomacy to me. 
You're not on nomad guard duty? No need. Words got around. Wonder how Sloane will crack down on the Collective. They humiliated her. She'll be out for blood. At least we're in her good books. Today, anyway. Saw a few places like this in my commando days. Trading posts and the Terminus systems. Good places for fugitives to hide. Or try to. But not from Asari commandos, huh? Let's just say hiding with an arms merchant isn't as smart as you'd think. Especially when one of the commandos hunting you is that merchant's little sister. I wish we'd found Kadara ten months ago. If people knew it was possible to build a life here, maybe the uprising wouldn't have happened. Be careful, Ryder. You help Sloan keep her grip on Kadara, but that doesn't mean she owes you anything. I'm okay, Mom. Promise. Thanks for looking out for me, though. I don't do it for just anyone. Only friends. Watch out for those crates. Fragile stuff. I swear I didn't bump into anything. Oh, I know. Just in case you wanted to take a seat or something. You think I'd break stuff if I sat down? What are you saying about my weight? Oh, I don't know. You tell me, Ryder. The planets in Helios still look so... alien. They look stranger with humans on them. Confirmed. Calling outpost. Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director, I trust you're enjoying the show? I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles stake their claim? You better be sure about this. We can't turn our backs. The initiative failed them. You weren't there, but you're here now, and it's your call. It's a win, and we'll take wins wherever we can get them. You need to do this again. Another step forward, but of course there's more. There's always more. Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara? You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. I won't lie. Kadara put up a fight. A lot of people pushed to extremes. But we're going to stay. We didn't come to Andromeda because it was easy. And we're not leaving Kadara because it's hard. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison out. Heard from the Nexus. Well, if it isn't the Pathfinder, welcome to Outpost Deteon. Christmas date of Mining Company 7, at your service. Christmas? That a nickname? <laughs> Afraid not. My old lady, Holiday Tate, had a sense of humor. It's certainly a conversation starter. Things going well? No one's been shot in the back, which is more than I expected. You don't think Sloane will hold up her end of the deal? She wasn't exactly reliable as head of Nexus security, was she? <sighs> but I can't complain. Her people have kept the outpost safe, and trade is booming. The outcasts are playing nice now. But we should be ready if Sloan has a change of heart. Consider my shotgun loaded. Anything else to report? Well, there's this... cult. A cult? Seriously? They're harmless. But the thing they worship... That's what worries me. Some kind of massive machine. They call it... Old Skinner. Could be nothing, but their leader, Bishop, went to pay tribute and hasn't come back. I'll check it out. Better safe than sorry. Appreciate it. You said you're with Mining Company 7? Best damn EZO miners on Mars, until the ground dried up. Putting your skills to use on Kadara? You made the water potable, but there's still plenty of sulfur in the bedrock. The Director wants to use the stuff to make fertilizer. Carter can tell you more. Just, uh, don't sneak up on her. You look like you've been around the block. 
That's one way of saying I'm old. That wasn't... Hey, at 61, I've come to terms with my age. I'm the oldest of the outpost leaders, but I'm also the toughest. I didn't come to Andromeda to die. The opposite, actually. Deteon. Interesting name. Does it mean something? <laughs> it's an inside joke among the company. Deteon is a temp name we pitched for our outpost block. It's actually an acronym. Stands for Deploy in the Ass End of Nowhere. Exiles giving you any trouble? We've actually taken a few on, of the non-outcast and collective variety. The uprising was ugly business. A lot of normal people got caught up in it. Glad we can provide a second chance. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Let me guess. I should see the other guy. He got a few punches in. I can see that. Dr. Nakamoto, what are you doing here? When I heard the outpost needed a physician, I offered my services. Least I could do after you retrieved my formula. And the setup's a sight better than a shipping container. I don't know. The free clinic was charming in its own way. Ha. <laughs> Rust isn't charming. It's tetanus. Ugh. What about your old clinic? I moved my patients here. With Christmas's permission, of course. And spread the word that my door is still open, just in a different location. A small gesture, but it's done wonders for the initiative's <laughs> reputation. How are your patients doing? Any serious injuries? Much as I hate to say it, Sloan's done a good job of protecting this place. Only minor injuries from people being clumsy. And, of course, a lot of aspirin for hangovers. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Pathfinder. Wait. Don't come any closer. Okay. <sighs> False alarm. Thought there might be some acid splash. I avoid acid splashes at all costs. Good call. It's terrible for the skin. Nessie Carter, science officer for Outpost at Teon. You must be the Pathfinder. Were you also a part of Mining Company 7? Yes. Well, no, I wasn't a miner, but I worked with Christmas and the others. They're my family. You came to Helios to be with them? I know it's silly, since I'll outlive them. Statistically speaking, anyway. But I just couldn't let them go on such an adventure without me. What are you working on? A hyperpotent phosphate fertilizer using Kadara's natural abundance of sulfuric acid. Hyperpotent? That's good, right? Absolutely. My work will be essential in providing nutrients for gardens across Helios. When we have gardens, which we will, because of you. See you around, Carter. Yep. Bye, Pathfinder. I need a higher rotation speed below 20 meters. Riff, Pathfinder's making the rounds. If you can step away from your rock collection for... They're drill core samples. <laughs> Not a rock... Oh, he's here. <laughs> Pathfinder. <laughs> Name's Riff. Mining engineer for Outpost of Teon. Relax, I'm not going to judge anyone for collecting rocks. <sighs> They're drill core. Never mind. What do you think of Kadara? Mineral-wise, she's a gold mine. Carter is already putting Kadara's resources to practical use. What about people-wise? Sloane was scary on the Nexus. Now, she's plain terrifying. I'll stick to my rocks. What exactly does a mining engineer do? Oh, we're involved in every step of the mining process. Christmas is a good guy, a good miner, but he needs me to help decide where to drill and when to stop. Good chatting with you, Riff. Anytime, Pathfinder. This is it. I ordered three crates. And? And I only see two. Huh. Look at that. Must be a shortage. Hey, you're Vetra's boss. 
How do you know Vetra? You one of her contacts? You could say that. I used to work the stock rooms on the Nexus. Let her know I set aside those regulators she wanted. Would have sent them earlier, but got busy with the move. Were you there during the uprising? Oh, I was there. Barricaded myself inside one of the stock rooms. Total chaos. Must be strange seeing the exiles again. Tan took the out of sight, out of mind approach. But that's never worked in my experience. So, you're the requisitions officer. That's my official title, yeah. But I take care of any odd jobs that pop up. Scrubbing, cooking, whatever I can do to help. That's nice of you. Keeps me busy. I used to work the drill back on Mars until I messed up my hand. I was lucky I didn't lose it. But the nerves never healed right. Do you have everything you need? We've got the necessities, but Sloan's keeping us on a tight leash. Outcasts check every shipment going in and out. As if the charlatan would be hiding in one of our crates. See you around, Drew. Keep fighting the good fight, Pathfinder. Helios News Service now broadcasting live. You're listening to HNS, your source for news in Helios, an independent arm of the Andromeda Initiative. So many of my family are distinguished. The name carries weight on its own. I didn't want the name to carry me. I want my own story, if that makes any sense. Plenty. I just can't imagine that much family. I didn't even have one brother or sister. <gasps> what? <laughs> How? I don't know. Ask my parents. Great one, turn your gaze upon me. Accept this tribute. Reshape the world in your... Wait! C great one! Wait! Ah! Ah! Bishop, I presume. Let's report back to Christmas. That thing's a monster! Are you upset to be the only child of your parents? This team, and your commando team before that, doesn't satisfy that yearning. It's a different kind of belonging than family. Here, I can walk away, good or bad. That knowledge... Go for the legs.
blow it! And that implant amplifies your natural biotic potential. Yep. It must act on neuroelectrical impulses. That seems risky. Attack its legs!
from Carter's wing, let me know. Woman will be the death of me. Pathfinder, how's it going? Old Skinner is no more. I heard. Shame about Bishop. He was crazy, but a good worker. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. <laughs>